There it is. Uh, not a stone, but a stone fish. What an amazing beast. It really does look like a piece of rock. This is camouflage taken to the nth degree. What makes stonefish even more dangerous is that they can quite happily stay out of water for up to 24 hours, making them all too easy to step on when the tide retreats. And it's the spines on their back that deliver the deadly venom. It's actually got 13 of these dorsal spines, and each one is basically a hypodermic. And uh, just a little way back from the point is the, uh, that's where the venom is. And what happens is if you tread on one of these, uh, it's your body weight that injects that. Um, let's just see what this thing can do. Um, found that on the beach. This is the kind of thing I often wear. Put these on for eye protection. And uh, what happens? Did you see that? It's only when the footage is slowed down that you can see the amount of venom that's delivered by one single spine. Now, if you trot on that, that venom would go into your bloodstream and uh, as well as being very painful, I mean, if you've got people with you, they're going to need to look after you. I'm discovering that making it to shore here can be an even deadlier proposition than being lost at sea. One possible scenario, who knows, maybe one of those survivors stepped on one of these and that just took everybody's concentration. They're dealing with that person and then events just went on from there.